Parts Lab is an add-in for Autodesk Revit that enhances native functionality called Parts. Please see our other videos for significant productivity gains when creating and visualizing Revit Parts. The following features have been added to Parts Lab version 4 to assist the investigation of parts after creation. This construction model contains thousands of parts created from two linked structural models. When using parts for construction detailing or lift drawing creation, it's important to understand the integrity of the underlying design geometry. If objects overlap or have duplication with conflicting design intent, we must understand which objects are dimensionally correct. These new tools in Parts Lab don't tell us which objects are correct, but simply help identify issues with the design before proceeding. One of the main challenges when creating parts from many linked model objects is understanding when those original objects overlap due to poor modeling by the author. When the parts are created, those overlaps are also duplicated. This creates the following challenges when detailing. Understanding design conflicts and duplicate geometry, incorrect volumes and takeoffs, and incorrect dimensioning on lift drawings. First we will start off with an overview of all the overlapping parts. All the tools on this tab in Parts Lab will only interact with the Manage view created by Parts Lab. With the Review Overlapping Parts tab open in Parts Lab, click the name of the building level node. All overlaps on that level will be highlighted orange. To isolate the highlighted overlaps, click the Isolate Context toggle. This will show only the parts belonging to that level or category. Parts with an overlap condition are highlighted orange, while all other parts belonging to that level category are transparent to show context. Parts on the level above or below may also be visible and highlighted if they overlap the parts on the selected level or category. An extra value this feature adds is validation. Isolating all the overlaps by a specific building level can reveal objects that span more than one level. These parts can be split using the native Revit Divide tool that appears on the ribbon menu when a part is selected. Other isolation modes are also available on this tab in Parts Lab. Overlap conditions can be reviewed by level, category, or each overlap instance. For the next few seconds, we will review overlapping parts on level 14. Select the level name to highlight all overlap conditions on that level. Select the category name to highlight all overlap conditions within that category. With the floor category selected, we can investigate those overlaps for meaningful design issues that need to be resolved. This balcony is overlapping the main floor and could cause a critical dimensioning issue. Are these walls supposed to stop at the bottom of the floor, or should the floor terminate at the outside face of the wall? Other constructability issues are easily identified during this process. To review individual overlaps, click that overlap name. The two overlapping parts will highlight in blue and green. These objects should not overlap. This could create a critical dimension bust in the lift drawings. If we highlight the structural column category, notice they do not highlight objects in other categories. This is telling us the columns in the structural model have duplicates. If you want to keep all other overlaps highlighted while you review each overlap, click the checkbox for that level or category, then click the overlap node name. You can also open the Overlap node and select each part in that Overlap instance to isolate each part separately. If Parts Lab was used to create these parts, and parts were created from different versions of the linked models, Parts Lab's revision list can be used to filter the overlap tree by a specific revision. The overlap tree on the left changes as each revision is selected. With a specific revision selected, click the Highlight All button and you will instantly see all the overlaps created by the latest design update. If the list of overlaps is long and you want to investigate a specific overlap, do a reverse lookup. 
Highlight the level or category node. Click one or more overlapping parts in the model, then click here. All overlaps of the selected objects will have a yellow dot next to the node name in the tree. If you want to cause some overlaps to no longer appear in the overlap tree, they can be removed. This does not fix the overlap, it simply removes them as an overlap condition in the tree. Click the checkbox next to the conditions in the tree. Right click and select Remove Check Conditions on this level. These conditions are now located in a new Removed Conditions node in that level. These removed conditions can be restored. The Removed Conditions node can also be hidden from the tree to prevent accidental highlighting by checking this filter option. Be sure to watch our other videos for quick tips and best practices for creating, visualizing, and manipulating parts with PCL Parts Lab.